Everybody, welcome. As promised, 11.30, Friday. Beautiful day outside of New York City. Fat loss, we will talk about fat loss. That is probably the single biggest topic in the fitness industry. Wherever you go, fat loss diet, fat loss training, this, that, the other. Let's take it from the top. How does fat loss actually work? Like, what happens? Where does it go? So, every fat cell has three fatty acids and one glycerol molecule. When there's any type of stress, such as you're cold, you're exercising, you're hungry, norephedrine and ephedrine are being pumped out. They cause the glycerol atom to go out, more blood goes into the fat cell, and the fatty acids are being released into the bloodstream. If you are in a caloric deficit, then those fatty acids are being oxidized, used for energy, and the fat cell empties. Okay? That's a very important point. Fat cells empty. This is where life is unfair. If somebody has been heavy and gets lean, this person has to, is basically like an alcoholic. Has to be so, so careful. Sorry about the New York City sound outside. Because the fat cells, they're like little raisins and they're just waiting to be plums, I mean grapes again. So if you're lean, stay lean, okay? That's also why obese children have a harder time uh, getting leaner later on because the fat cells, they don't die. So, that being said, there are three kinds of fats. Can you hear me okay with the noise outside? With the, everybody good? Okay. So there are three kinds of fats. There's the subcutaneous, there's the visceral, and there's the intramuscular. Subcutaneous, as it implies, is under the skin. That's what we're gonna lose because it covers our precious muscles. Visceral is the one you should lose because it covers the organs and that's what gives people all kinds of heart disease and certain cancers and so on and so forth. So that actually goes relatively quickly. That's more of a male thing. Males tend to have more visceral fat. Intramuscular fat is, is a very small amount that doesn't really matter. So that I wouldn't worry about too much. So subcontinuous fat is really when people say they want to lose fat, that's what they want to lose because they want to look better in their bathing suit, right? So what do I have here? So no matter what anybody tells you or what anybody sells you, you need a deficit. You need a caloric deficit. There's no two ways about it. So for that, you figure out how many calories you should be eating in the first place, right? Basically, you take your BMR, which is your basic metabolic resting rate, that is around 11, 12 times pounds of body weight. And then you add the thermic effect of food and the thermic effect of exercise. And that gives you about 15. That would be your baseline to begin with. And from there on, you take a deficit anywhere from 300, depending on how big or small you are, to 1,000 calories. How much fat can you lose? Safely and sustainably, I'd say two pounds a week. Two pounds a week is a lot, all right? Because that is two grapefruits you're losing. That's the size of two pounds of fat. Because you wanna keep it off. So people often ask, well, if somebody is really, really heavy, can't this person lose more? Here's the thing. If this person crash diets and then blows back up, this person will die. But if this person spends another two months or so at a relatively heavy weight level, it will come down just fine. So a deficit of about 500 calories a day, larger mammals like me can be a little bit more, gives you safely two pounds of fat a week that are being lost. Which is also why the biggest loser is bullshit. Complete and utter bullshit, okay? You don't lose 20 pounds in a week. You just don't. What they do is they dehydrate these people. They put them in the sauna, they put them all kinds of drugs, and they put them on a the scale. Or make them puke, I don't know. 20 pounds of fat, or 10 kilos, you would need a 70,000 calorie deficit for the week. What are you doing, going up Mount Everest, barefoot, sprinting? The biggest loser in all these extreme weight loss shows are bullshit. They're making people sicker. They come back down, 
and they blow up like crazy. Two pounds a week is sustainable. Then, training. Weight training is the nuclear bomb when it comes to fat loss. It's the best thing ever. Nothing comes close. So, to back paddle. Any type of exercise burns calories and you will lose weight, no doubt. Whether you go Zumba dancing or do a triathlon. Weight training, however, will protect your muscles because if there's a caloric deficit, then the body will say, whoa, I'm cutting the muscles because the muscles cost energy to sustain. Weight training uses them. So if you keep training heavy, you keep the muscle, you keep the BMR high, which prevents the BMR from dropping as you go through your cut. After that, it's cardio, because only so much weight training can do, and if you need to burn more calories, you can do some cardio. There's two ways to do it. There's sprinting, which is high-intensity cardio, and then there is steady state. They both work. Sprinting just gets you there quicker in the time of the gym, but it's a bit more strenuous. So that's really personal preference, okay? For somebody to get, shall we say, just beach lean, is relatively easy, and it's a gradual process. You just eat a little bit less, work a little bit more. You have to understand that weight loss, I mean fat loss, is not gradual. So sometimes you will have weeks where you lose nothing and then you have a week where you lose four to five pounds. The reason is that the body loves these fat cells. So it fills them with water even though they're empty and they're still there. And then at some point it capitulates and it all comes out. And then people say, oh, I dropped five pounds last week. No, no, you dropped two and two and one the last three weeks, but now it finally came together. For somebody who wants to get really, really lean, such as like going on a stage or doing a photo shoot, it becomes very individualized because then you really fight in the body and then there's things like that. You know, carb cycling goes in, the training has to be a bit different, but most people don't need that. So for most people, they take their body weight times 15. That's your caloric number. You subtract 500. You train with weights three to four times. You do cardio maybe another two to three times. And you take out either carbs or fat because you can't cut the protein. You just to say, I'm more of a low fat, high carbohydrate guy, but that's everybody is different. And from there on, you're really on your way. Okay? You have to give yourself time. So however long you were heavy, you gotta take 10% of that time to lose weight. So if you had that beer belly for 10 years, it will take a year to come off. No matter what Joe the trainer tells you or the guy in the supplement store or whatever, it's not gonna be any quicker because you wanna keep it off. So it doesn't mean you can look greatly better within eight weeks or so, but thanks for sharing the video, but that doesn't mean that it's gonna come off overnight. Also, and I say this to people all the time, don't strive for perfect, strive for good. So the week has seven days, that gives you whatever, 30 meals. If you get 28 meals right, you're good to go. Same with your workouts, just you know, get them in, do, make sure you have good workouts, but don't beat yourself up if stuff doesn't go well. And lastly, let's say one night you break down and you go to Dunkin' Donuts and then you go to the Chinese place and you just, you just raid the buffet like there's no tomorrow. Do not absolutely ever go starving the next day. It will make it worse. The next day, no matter what happened, you just go back on a regular diet, okay? So remember, two pounds a week you can lose. You take your body weight times 15, that's your basic caloric expenditure. You train with weights at least three times a week. You do some cardio and, you know, just enjoy life, man. It's, it will be fine, okay? You can get this done. Alrighty, so everybody have a super weekend. I'm taking my daughter to the zoo and hope you do something fun. See you then. Bye.